hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is allegro thank you so much for coming back to watch yet another video and if you are new here please do take a moment to subscribe to the channel and join our growing youtube family on this channel i cover business books and mindset and on today's video i wanted to share my top five books i think every woman should read especially now that we are celebrating women's month i know that august is not yet over and i wanted to put this video out so that i can you know share some of my most um favorite um, books that I know that would encourage you as um, a woman and not just a woman who is aspiring to be um, an entrepreneur but just a woman in life in general I think these books will give you something to think about and also change your life for the better so I'm just going to quickly go through my top five um, books that I hope will leave you inspired and um, if you haven't read any of these or maybe one or two feel free to share in the comment section and I hope this video inspires you to go out and get at least one copy from this top five list the first book is who moved my cheese this is a very very um compact book let's start there and i've actually done a review on this i'll link the video um where i reviewed this book and this is by dr spencer johnson and i think in a time where we are experiencing so much change around us and um, so much change in our daily lives, especially as women where we encounter so many um, changes as we grow through life. I think this is a book that will help you um, just kind of make sense of everything and um, kind of be okay with change and not be afraid that things are changing. Which direction am I taking? What's happening around me? Um, it's kind of puts you, it kind of puts you at ease. Um, and I really love the way it's written and um it's like i said it's compact so if you're not much of a reader um i know some people don't like reading a lot of dense heavy books but this you can get through this in about a day or two and you'll definitely enjoy it so look out for it it's who moved my cheese definitely definitely a good book and one of my favorite books that i've read so go out and go get this book and my next book is ariana huffington's thrive I've also done a review of this book. I will link it um, down below in the description. Thrive really spoke to me. I read this about three, maybe four years ago, and it helped me to stop overworking, especially as an entrepreneur where we are always on the go and um, we think that we need to be on the go. We need to be busy, productive all the time. And sometimes resting is being productive and taking time for yourself is being productive. It's not selfish, um, you know, and I, I just I can't speak enough you know about this book i can't um convince you enough to go to, to go out and get this book I've, I've spoken about it so many times on my social media pages to my friends uh, family and i've had friends um come and borrow the book or buy the book because they heard me talk about it so i definitely love this thrive by ariana huffington you should give it a try and um let me know what you think about the book and if you have read it already do share your um comments down below in the comment section i would love to hear from you another favorite of mine is the year of yes by shonda rhimes another one that i've done a review of um do have a look at the description down below i will link um the review that i did on this book it's amazing if you are in a space in your life where you feel like you need the push in the right direction you need that extra confidence you need to start saying yes to opportunities and saying yes to things that are coming your way if you are a person who's always been um perhaps a bit timid perhaps a bit um not even soft spoken but but someone who just doesn't voice um, their opinions um, really well and doesn't accept that good things are meant for them. You know, um, Shonda Rhimes touches on that in this book and I love it. And if you just start to say yes to, to things in your life, say yes to opportunities, say yes to moving to a new city, say yes to starting something new, a new degree, whatever it may be, say yes to that engagement, say yes to whatever you have been doubting. This book will encourage you and shed some light on why it's important to say yes to yourself and for yourself. And I hope it encourages you to just um, stand up for yourself and use your voice wisely. And as women, we need to do that more often. And um, I love it. I absolutely love Shonda Rhimes writing and of course, all her TV shows. Then I've got an, another book here by another woman who I... I, I just, I love, I love Sarah Jakes Roberts. Um, she's a powerful preacher, powerful minister. 
and I think if you get a copy of Woman Evolve, your life will change for the better. Um, there's no way you can read this book and stay the same. Um, you will be moved. Woman Evolve will force you, literally, as you read it, it will force you um, and encourage you um, and motivate you, empower you to evolve your life, to change the way you do things, to change the way you look at yourself, to change the way you see the things that are happening around you, that sometimes they're not happening to you, they're happening for you, and that God is always in control. Woman Evolve is an absolutely amazing book. I wish I got it sooner than I did, but I'm glad that I finally did get a copy and um, I love it. I suggest that all my friends get this, my family members, um, you know, followers on social media. If you're a woman, you need this in your collection. And the last book, I do not have my copy um, anymore. I actually lent it to a friend of mine, and that it is Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. I read this also about four or five years ago, and it really spoke to the woman in me, the woman that I'm trying to become, the woman that I was um, perhaps shy to step into. You know, I'm, I've always been aware of my capabilities, um, especially when it comes to my entrepreneurship journey and what I have to offer and what I like what I don't like but sometimes we get a bit not discouraged but we get a bit hmm can't even find the right word not even scared we just we doubt ourselves we get a bit nervous and we don't want to move forward and I think um that book really helped me to lean in and lean forward and and tap into my own strength as a woman as an as an entrepreneur um so I don't have a copy I lent it to a friend of mine I raved about that book so much that she said listen when you come to my house please bring me that book I want to read it and it's since been there so um that's one that I I love having in my collection and something that I will um a book that I will always revisit and go and read up on you know some of my favorite chapters in that so lean in by Cheryl Sandberg that is my fifth and final book that I hope you get and you read and you are inspired as we are celebrating Women's Month happy Women's Month to you remain strong remain ambitious remain audacious remain you know the the fearfully and wonderfully made woman that you are and don't let anybody stop you in your track don't let anybody try to tell you that you are less worthy than you are you are worthy you are valuable know your worth know who you are and um you know wake up every day with that confidence that i am a woman and i am making positive change in this life and i have a voice that i need to use wisely and i love who i am i love what i'm doing and just love yourself wholeheartedly in all aspects of your life um, so yeah, I hope this video encourages you to get at least one of the books that I mentioned and once again Happy Women's Month and thank you so much for watching this video. I will chat to you in the next one. Bye